Hey Virgo. All right, you guys, it's gonna be for anyone who has Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements in their birth chart. Keep in mind, it's a general love reading and it will not resonate with every single Virgo out there. All right, do not have to be taken for this read, just have to have somebody on your mind. All right, all right, let's see what's the overall energy of love right now for my Virgos. Okay. Right out the gate. Ooh, coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, all right, and transition. All right? So it may have been an ending here with you and somebody, all right? Bottom of the deck is healthy choices. <laughs> you walked away, I feel. All right, healthy choices. Somebody made that healthy choice to walk away, all right? Keeping that positive mindset that, okay, this may have ended, but new beginnings are coming in, all right? Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier all right let's get into it then all right that's just a, that's just the energy i'm getting already all right that may not even be the story all right <laughs> that's, just, that's just what i'm getting so far all right so let's look all right y'all don't mind i'm gonna get the entire spread out to see what i'm dealing with then we'll go over it as i'm clarifying all right so current energy for my virgos please right now and love my current energy right now for my virgos Virgo's currently going through regard to love. Current energy right now for my Virgo. Okay. The past. The past. What happened in the past? Okay. How does Virgo feel about this person? How does this person still feel? How does this person feel about Virgo? Uh, any advice for Virgo? And most likely I'll come in love for Virgo. Wow, okay. Wait, shit. I didn't expect that. Okay. This is so weird. A lot of y'all messages come out so funny tonight. Alright, the Emperor, bottom of the deck, taking charge. Alright, being the one that's like, you know what? I'm gonna have to put emotions to the side for right now. I have to do what's logically right, okay? I have to go with what, you know, feels right, okay? I don't know why I just got this in my head, but Roku from Avatar, like somebody has kind of been in a Roku mindset, like, I don't know how many of y'all watched Avatar before, <laughs> but you remember when Roku um, had to put, uh, what you call it, in check, even, even though that's his best friend, you know, he's, he's still the Avatar, but anyway, <laughs> but doing what's best for you, okay, doing what's best, what you feel is, you know, doing what you feel is best, all right. But maybe a little struggling right now because it did try to come up in reverse. I don't read reversals. All right, my spirit guys know that I read them, read them upright. So upright, it's a swords. You are trying to move on right now. You are just you're moving on. Okay, you are taking it like a champ. Is kind of what I wanted to say for some of you. All right, past energy is the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot. All right, so it took you a little minute to get there. All right. I feel like this is you. You're moving slowly but surely away from this person is what I'm feeling. Clarify the past for Virgo, please. Can you clarify the past for Virgo? The moon? Okay. The judgment. Ten of cups. Page of Ah, okay. Virgo. Um, throw me off a little bit. Somebody may have came to make some type of offer towards you. Oh, that's what that was. Okay. This person that you have on your mind, I feel for some of you, um, they reached out slowly but surely, definitely, um, to try to move forward with you. And I feel like this was a secret to you for a while because of with the moon here. And I also feel like you may feel this person's intentions are not where they're supposed to be because the moon talks about having hidden enemies, okay, or somebody with the, with the, you know, without the best intentions towards you, okay. Somebody didn't have the best intentions. And I feel like you knew this, your intuition was telling you this with the moon here. Okay, and I felt like this person came in and you know, basically they came off like they were very, um, very honest. Okay, like this Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is very honest, okay, and very loyal. I felt like they came off to you like they weren't, okay. This could be a new person or a past person, it really don't matter who this is. I just feel like you had a bad feeling about them and now you're moving on from them, okay. You're distancing yourself from this person, making healthy choices, like I said, okay. Putting this shit into the dirt, like this coffin card here, right. Now, your feelings for, towards them is the Four of Pentacles. You still holding on to them, though. Okay, low key. Clarify about the Four of Pentacles? But I feel like this person came in to say they wanted a second chance or they wanted to try things out with you. Some of you, your intuition was just like, nah, I'm playing. What about the, what, tell me about the Four of Pentacles. But you're still holding on to them a bit. Yeah, you're disappointed about how things went. 
But I, again, I feel like you're just, I feel like you're making that adult decision to be like, you know what, I just, look at that, see? Four of cups, eight of cups, you just, you just like, I don't want to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't want this. Like, whether it's, whether it's them, I don't know what the problem is, actually. I really don't know what the problem is. It's not showing, it's not telling me that far back. It's just telling me that this person reached out to you. Okay? And I thought they were trying to move forward, but now you're moving on instead of moving forward. Okay, I feel like secrets came out too with the with the moon here. Some secret may have came out with this person. This person may have been revealed to be something that they're not. Okay, and when you found that out, you're just like, oh, okay, well, moving on. All right, trying to move on. But at the same time, you're still disappointed about how things went. You look, you crying over spilled milk. Not actually, but you know what I'm saying. Some y'all are disappointed too still. You still, you're holding on to them. On the outside, you are definitely moving on though. Four of Cups and Eight of Cups at the bottom, you are internally done, like, though. Like, if that makes sense, like, done but not done because you wish it could have been better. Like, you really hate that this happened. Like, I feel like you're holding on to the hurt a little bit, but I feel like you're really, you're really, really trying to move on. Okay, making that healthy choice. All right? How do you feel about you, the Three of Swords? That's my Three of Swords. They're heartbroken. They, they feel it's lost. They feel it, too. Okay? And it's you. Tell me about the Three of Swords. They're heartbroken. This is, a, this is a loss for them. They wanted a second chance. They wanted a reunion. Not reunion. I'm sorry. New, the fool is a new beginning. Okay. They wanted to. They wanted this to work. They wanted this to work. They wanted to put the energy into this. They wanted to try. They're heartbroken. Or they see you as heartbroken. How they feel about you? They band. They they heartbroken. They feel this loss. They really do. Oh, I'm sorry. This could be Aquarius. This could be an Aquarius, this could be a Libra, this could be a Scorpio, this could be an Aries, this could be a Capricorn. I have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Virgo. Alright. Can I have the King of Wands as my Virgo's outcome, please? I mean, Virgo, I keep saying outcome. Advice? King of Wands as the advice, please. Can I give the advice? Close it out. Let it in. Complete this. End the cycle. All right, some of you might have been dealing with this situation with this person for a while now, or it was in a loop, like it kept, like something, something kept happening with doing this person to where you were just like, okay, I'm done now. Cause I, I see you're actually done. Your advice is to close it out completely. Cause some of you are only halfway done. Some of you are only halfway there. You're needing to get on this boat in here. Okay, this, this, this here boat. You need to get on here and complete that trip. All right, make sure you meet, make sure you complete that trip. Okay. Cause guess what happens when you do, bitch. Guess what happens when you do, or nigga. Guess what happens when you do. For my male Virgos, female Virgos, doesn't really matter what you are. Look at that. Okay, ten of Pentacles, ten of Pentacles. Look at that. Is your outcome? Your most likely outcome is a committed relationship. Some of you are just money. <laughs> I hate to say that, but because ten of Pentacles is a, is a major increase in money. But this is a love reading, so this is a commitment. All right, and I don't think it's with this person. Okay. Aquarius is here, Scorpio is here, Taurus is here, and Leo is here. Your advice is to end this. Okay, complete this cycle. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles as, as Virgo's outcome, please. This is your own card. Ten of Pentacles is Virgo energy. The justice. Alright, so I'm, okay. Some of you might be this past person. I'm not even gonna joke. It may, oh my god, this looks, this looks, this looks kind of good actually. Ten of Pentacles and the justice. This, I do see somebody, um, you know what, as your advice with the King of Wands in the world, I feel like you're being told to complete whatever, make sure this, this, whatever this was ends. Make sure if it's really a new beginning, make sure it's a new beginning, okay? Don't make, don't let this happen again. So, you know what I'm saying? Some of you, I really don't think it's, a, it's the same person. Either way, your outcome is a relationship. But with the Justice card here, I feel like this is a new person. For a small percentage of you, no, actually a big percentage of you, I'm, I'll hit this back. Um, Ten of Pentacles and the Justice card, this is a marriage, this is a divorce. Okay, I'm saying some of your divorce is being finalized. Alright, is what I'm seeing here. Ten of Pentacles and the Justice card, I'm seeing you moving on. Some of you are moving forward with um, finalizing a divorce. Moving forward with it, okay, is what I'm saying here too. But then I'm seeing an opportunity coming in where it's a whole other connection here. Ten of Cups. I could put this story so many different ways. It's ridiculous. Tell me um, more about the outcome for my Virgos, please. This could be a Libra that you're dealing with or another Virgo. 
Okay, and that's what's down. The lovers. Nine up. Yeah, yeah, that was a divorce. All right, I do see you breaking up with this person or just leaving them completely. I see you ending the cycle. I've seen you being single. I also see an inheritance. Some of you might be gaining. Okay, for a very small portion of you, if you're waiting on a divorce to be finalized, I'm seeing you gaining some money from that. I'm saying money. Okay? A lot of it. Do you hear me? Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, The Lovers, The Sun, The Six of Pentacles. I'm seeing a lot of money coming in. Fuck this, fuck whatever's going on. Look at this money. The First of all, the Sun card is the best card to get in a money read, period. Alright? But, and that's, the Six of Pentacles talks about somebody giving you money. Alright? Look at that. Period. Either way, this could be a relationship or, or a love. I'm saying love coming in, period, though. Y'all got love coming in. It looks great. Some of y'all got money coming in. It looks great. Some of y'all are leaving um, somebody and possibly attracting a new person for some of you. Could be a Gemini. I got Virgo here again. Alrighty. Some of y'all I really don't think is with this person. Some of y'all it is though. It depends on you though. Either way, I'm seeing love coming in. It may be the fat person. I ain't gonna lie. Because Seven of Pentacles is really is a really strong card to have for somebody that's a that would be a brand new connection. You know what I'm saying? That would be like a Two of Cups or something. But no, Seven of Pentacles, that's somebody you've been with for a good little bit. So some of y'all might cave in and give this person another chance. And they may try to make things right. Alright? And you would, you, you're you going to be happy either way, though. I'm saying you're being happy either way. If this is not the person that you're wanting to, if this is not the person you're still holding on to, I'm saying you're getting very far in a new connection. All right, like end all be all kind of connection, like the real shit. All right, all right. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. All right. So everything that's happening is for a reason. All right. Some of y'all are very intuitive, is what I'm seeing here. Very spiritual, and your spiritual path is. I feel like you're on it. <laughs> I really think you're on it. All right. Your love life is influ is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Bottom of the deck, you have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I feel like this is a new person because at the bottom of that, you have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Bottom of that, you have wedding. So this was, this is somebody you were married to for a lot of you. You don't have to be, by the way, you do not have to be married for this to resonate. All right. <laughs> all right, you guys. That's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoy it. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.